from the sky over Noumea can be seen numerous columns of smoke, businesses and shops on fire, a sign that the tensions continue. Rioters in New Caledonia have targeted the island's economic core. This transport company's premises have been set alight and a car showroom completely burned out. In the north of the city, pro-independence activists still have roadblocks mounted. On this road, there's no way through. We're out here this morning having a moment of reflection, just to pay homage to our dead, all our innocent brothers who've fallen. Our fight is a legitimate one. We're just saying, don't take away our benefits. At this roundabout, traffic is let through, though there is a dissuasive roadblock. But many roads remain impassable. Security forces are gradually clearing the main thoroughfares. A military convoy advances slowly to reopen this dual carriageway. Police are protecting strategic bridges like this one. And for the first time since the start of the unrest, there are signs that things are calming down. In the Magenta neighbourhood in the north of Noumea, one of the worst affected, white flags have gone up. Protesters are themselves clearing the streets of burned out cars. Young people here want to show they intend to bring an end to the violence. For six days now, our parents haven't been able to sleep, so we want to stop all this. And too many people have died, so we have decided to stop. Despite 29 arrests on Monday, France's Interior Ministry says things have quietened down in New Caledonia.